Delver coming down, straight down. Nav is green for touchdown. ACS is green, 1.5 degrees per second max, 0.2 Gs. Touchdown, we have touchdown. Extra zone. We have touchdown. Naval is zone. Camera one zone. We're looking good. Final lead, power is decreased. Uh, copy power. We're out of sync. We have several indications of touchdown. A moment in every Viking's life that he or she will never forget, sitting with that television right in front of him and watching as the first lines came down. It came down line by line by line. And there was no way to describe how we felt. These kind of things influence your life. You look at them a different way completely. It's not a bright spot in the sky anymore. It's really a place that you kind of feel like it's your own because you've been there. So it's, a, uh, it's really a great experience. There's no way around it. Since this was a scanning type of, uh, means of sending the picture back, you've only got it in sections and you slowly built up this landing pod and you saw one section and two sections and three sections and you started seeing the surface of Mars and then you knew we had done it, you know. We thought, my gosh, what, a, what an achievement. On August 20th, 1975, the first Viking spaceship was launched. Just two weeks later, there was a second Viking launch. Together, they began the search for Martian life. How do you possibly describe the first photograph that a human being has ever seen from the surface of another planet? These kind of things do change your life. You, you really 
you appreciate a whole lot more the, the wonders of the heavens. All the parts that have gone together, all the sweat and the tears that have gone into it, the long mission and the automatic, everything was done automatically, the land, it all had worked and we were there and that was Mars and we'd never seen it up close before. And all you can say is just exhilaration among the team. And we said, we've done it, we've done it.